How is my lovely queen? She's all right. She's with father. I'll break the news to them at once. That's nice of you. So when will you be free to see my mother? She has certain things to talk about. As soon as I clarify certain issues that trouble my mind. What troubles my angel? You. <laughs> I know you want us to be together, but never mind. We'll spend the rest of our lives when we're both old. Hmm? Well, that will be if you tell me truthfully why you did what you did. How do you mean? Esther, my maiden. I was going to talk to you about that evil girl. That girl is evil. If not for the fact that I was well respected and self willed, that evil would have lured me in having sex with her. She deserves no pity. In fact, she needs to be banished. Means she's telling the truth. What did she tell you? What bloody nonsense are you talking about? About the same way you tried to rape my elder sister. I am disappointed at you. For ever looking down on me. Where is the queen? I demand to talk to her at once. You shall not see the queen. You know why? Because I want you to get out of this palace this minute. Out! What did you say? You heard me right. Get out! Prince Joachim. Ugo. Yes. You didn't tell me my son-in-law is here. Well, that's because he's already on his way out. And I will not have anything whatsoever to do with this lunatic dog of a man. Ever! What kind of talk is that? My dear queen. What has come over my dearest? Ugo, you must apologize to Prince Joachim right now. I didn't train you to be rude to people. No, I will not. If you wish for the conversation between you and this dog of a man to continue, that's all right. But I am done here. I will not have anything to do with a man that has no respect for me whatsoever. Ugo, Excuse me. Ugo, come back here. Ugo. Please, my prince, forgive her. She's a little girl. Her mind is poisoned right now. But I promise to talk to her, okay? Ugo! Ugo! If the bottle has busted, father would be mad at me for messing up things. How could you do this to me? I trusted you. I treated you like my sister. How could you betray me like this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my princess. Please forgive me. You must be the me. Forgive you? Seriously? Forgive you? Do you know what your betrayal led to the death of Madhu? While he can still be declared a wanted man. What on earth were you thinking? I didn't know that my son can cause me trouble. I'm sorry. I just trusted and love Ashley so much. Please, I'm sorry. You know, you're standing before me right now because I am not like my mother. to be my maiden from this minute. You will leave the palace and go seek your future somewhere else. Paula, you will take her to her room, let her pack her things and exit this palace. You will meet to the accountant. I have instructed him. Your wages will be paid accordingly. Mrs. Smith, I'm sorry. Please, Mrs. Smith, I'm sorry. I'm going to go and tell her 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 Paula! Please! Take her out. Now. I loved her. 
so much. How could she do this? Keeping her would be foolishness. Day has been thrown out of the palace. Did you see Princess Ure crying? What you did is unforgivable. If Njide swears for you, it will follow you for the rest of your life. I'm sad. I wish I could be given a second chance to, to correct things. Things are not just right in this palace. I will never trust anyone again. And to think that Injide is paying a huge price for her love and trust in me makes me want to leave this palace. But I don't have anywhere to go to. I don't have a home outside this palace. She deserves it. She's even lucky the princess didn't punish her beyond this. That is an unfair thing to say. It would have happened to anyone. Princess Uri treated Injidi and Paul as if they were so special. Let us all for her betrayal. I know we envy them, but to talk like this is inhuman. Where will she get a job like this to help her family? If she likes men a lot, she can as well see a man who will take her in as a wife. Huh? It's possible. I'm even surprised that Princess Ure chooses to help the real person who should suffer in this case. Esther should have been thrown out of this palace because she deserved to go out. But she's suffering already. Princess Ugo has rejected her. The Queen doesn't like her. It's only because of Princess Ure who she helped to betray that she's still here. I can't wait for tomorrow to come so that I can inform Esther of her arrival being thrown away from the palace. We can't help it. It's very sad. You must be a very happy woman now, Elizabeth. You have succeeded in destroying everything within your reach. Thank you for the compliment. My daughter is at loggerhead over nothing. The palace guards and the maidens are at each other's throat. The silent killings, manipulations, and the systematic struggle for supremacy is on. Elizabeth, what do you really want? Nicely put, my husband. I and mean, if you must know, King Henry Wesley, I want you to live up to your expectation. You're becoming weak. You are losing it. Our enemies are plotting on how to dispose you as their king. And you think I will sit down here and watch that happen? Elizabeth, you are your own enemy, can't you see? This is the monster you created. The monster you created, bred, fed, and gave life to, that has now come around to consume you. That monster is what put you into power, and that monster is you. The moment you stop breathing, you give that monster no other reason than to dump you. Oh, Elizabeth. Now, can't you see that our sins are beginning to catch up with us? Elizabeth. It is time to reflect on our past and make amends and see that there are certain decisions that we make in the past that are no longer favorable. Nobility, my dear husband, they say it's not a birthright. It's defined by one's action. You can't just lose grip over those that fear and worship you simply by changing. By so do it, it smells doom. Elizabeth. I will no longer tolerate interference and nuisance from you. What will you do? What the hell do you think you can do? You bloody in 
regret. Elizabeth, it is this your same attitude that pushed me to do all those horrible things I did that have now come around to haunt me. What I don't understand is when this cowardice in you started. I think it's ever since that wretched boy walked into this palace and humiliated you by asking for your daughter's hand in marriage. That's when all this started. Maybe you're right. But that boy also showed me that there is no difference between us and those out there that you hated with passion. He also reminded me of something. My cousin and his family that I destroyed all because of your own ambition. Truly, you do have a problem. It's for me to solve because I will not sit back and watch you compromise everything I want so hard to build. If not for any other reason, for my children's sake. Henry? <laughs> Your, children. Your children. What children? Your daughters? The daughters that you have worked so hard to tear apart. Elizabeth. Can you really sit back and think? If you can't, then think about how it all began. The things we heard that people suffered because of our evil manipulations. Should I not? I just killed a man. I took a man's blood. My own brother. The man that treats you like a servant is not your blood. What you did is justified. Oh, don't talk to me about justification because you don't know what that means. You don't. Look, look at his hands. Look, Elizabeth. Look at my hands. They're stained with blood. The blood of an innocent man. The king. Elizabeth, you led me into this. You led me into this. Now let me let to condemn you. Don't talk to me about condemnation. No nation rises without sacrifice. No man achieves greatness without fighting for his existence. We are all animals. We fight and kill to live. We were comfortable, Elizabeth. We were comfortable. And God will have continued to bless us. Enough! For Oh, Elizabeth, there's no way forward. That is it. Henry! There's no way forward. The people are going to lynch me for the murder of their Henry! Kid. I know exactly how you feel right now. Do you? Yes. Oh. We need to act fast before the people get to know that the king is dead. Listen, what we need to do is to pack a few things and, and flee before they seal the gates of the kingdom. What stupid talk is that? When the throne awaits you? The throne? They don't say the throne. You think we came this far to kill him and get him from this kingdom? Is that what you think? Listen, the throne. How can I ascend the throne when the people are angry at me? They are angry at me. Harry, the man with the gun gets the people support whether they like it or not. I have consulted with the king makers. And they are going to crown you the next king in line. They don't have an option. But there's one thing we need to do. Elizabeth, what is it? We must not allow the queen to get the people's sympathy. Else, we live in borrowed time. What are you suggesting? I am suggesting that we wipe away everything that has to do with the king lineage from the surface of the earth. Elizabeth, that is the most bizarre idea I ever heard, if I heard one. Uh, my hands are not even dried from the king's blood. And you are suggesting oh, something else? Come on, Henry. If you don't know, you are treading on the path of history. I am? Your people, the people of this kingdom, will be so happy with you for freeing them from the hand of a tyrant and the queen that never cared for us. Subjects. You were ordained a king ever before you were conceived. You are a king. Yes, you need it. Drink it. Finish it, finish it. 
Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh yeah. That's my king. My king. Long live the king. Yes. That is it. with the winning team. Good. Good. Now, secure the palace. And you, keep your eyes and ears open. Okay? Your Majesty. What are you looking for? Sit down, Dick! All is not well. What do you mean, all is not well? What is it? And where is the king? Well, um, that is why I'm here. Something came up. Is the king all right? Because I've been worried since he went out for a meeting. Yes, yes, uh, there's no problem. Can I sit, can we talk? Henry, don't tell me something has happened to the king. Because I had this dream about seeing blood everywhere. But Thomas wouldn't listen to me. Blood? Yes. I even tried stopping him, but he wouldn't listen to me. Forgive my interruption. News just came in and that the king is dead. <laughs> Henry, tell me it's not true. Well, well um, I assure you, I know nothing of this. Uh, Grace, uh, excuse us, please. Stay where you are, Grace. Henry, I order you now to tell me what is going on. The king is your cousin, and you walked in here and. Oh. You knew about this, didn't you? She is rich. She is influential. Well, the kingmakers are with us now because they have no choice. I understand that. But they could be hiding us somewhere in town, plotting to execute us. Henry, greed can bring any man down. And that's the two we're going to hold. M -m Meaning? Tomorrow the council of elders will be meeting. Make them an offer they cannot reject. An offer? An offer? Have been what? Make them directors in the company. Are you out of your mind? If we do that, don't you know we are risking them to be able to plot against us in the future? No, it will mean buying time until we are ready for them. No, you don't know what people are dealing with here. You don't know them. They hate me, and they, they will report against me in the slightest opportunity they have. Henry, once you are crowned the king, things will begin to happen to them. Those that will survive will live in fears. They will become like puppets dangling to your tongue. Okay, then. What happened to the shears that automatically goes to the next of kin? What bloody shears are you talking about? Pieces of papers that could easily be torn? For Christ's sake, give me some credit! You are married to a woman with the heart of lion. With me, you can never go wrong. I'm beginning to see wisdom here. But, but what happens if the queen is not found? Even if she makes it outside the kingdom, the kingmakers will accuse her of being the one that sent the bandits that killed the king and his guards. Come on, I've thought of it. Even before you accepted being part of rewriting the history of our great people. So calm down. We can't go beyond here. Those are security men. Then what do we do? My lady, let us, let us get down here, please. We, we can't get any other transport from here. 
And how do we escape from the kingdom? My lady, it is better to follow the bush than to get caught and probably killed. My baby. Nothing must happen to my baby. Your Majesty, we don't need to stay too long here. Then we investigate and what do you want me to do? My lady, my lady, let us go down now. Please, let us go down. Who just left this car? Who left this car? Who? Who left this car? Who left this car? Who? Tell me who left this car. We are. Please. Go, go! Who left this car? 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 Son of who are you? What is your name? Okorafo, sir. Okorafo. So where was the queen and the maidens headed? Uh, I have no idea, sir. I was only trying to help them out of the kingdom. You have to rip up your tongue before you can tell me the truth. Uh, I, I swear, sir. I, I was only trying to help them out of the palace. Just take this thing out of my sight. He has no useful information for us. Is that us. all you have to say? And they should take him out of your sight? That is not what is expected of you. Elizabeth, but this low life has no useful information for us. Anyone who works for that queen is our enemy and does not deserve to live. Okay. Ah, 
baby must leave. Yes, the baby must leave. Nothing will happen to the baby. Nothing will happen when I've got through a lot. You must have this baby for me. Help me. since last night. I don't think we're on the right track. Maybe that driver didn't bring them this way. No. I was there. He wouldn't have panicked and tried to escape if he was not carrying them.
Jesus had a baby and made him not be far from this place. Yes. A child. A child with a maiden is a prince. May God guide them. But I doubt if they will survive in this bush. I will not go after them. Yes. Let's go after them. No. No? Yes, no. Let's return home. Let's go. Do you think the prince is still alive? I do not know. I have heard nothing to that effect. What do you ask? It just crossed my mind. What, what we need to do is, is change our ways. See, if the prince is alive, it means our enemies are somewhere waiting and then they're plotting for the right time to strike. If that boy is alive, I'll personally make sure that he dies. No son of Flores will sit on this throne while I'm still alive. So, this is it. This is what it has always been about. Your hatred for Florence. Call it my personal war if you want. That woman treated me with a lot of disrespect. Even if she wakes from her grave today, I will still plot her downfall. God help us if the prince is alive. Because that young man will not forget in a hurry how the prince perished. At least I achieved my aim. I don't care if I die now. I don't. I don't care. Sad, but is it truth? I am the one who betrayed you. If I hadn't revealed things to the one who, who I thought loved me, those men wouldn't have come for you. <laughs> and and Madu would have still been alive today. It's okay. Stop crying. It wasn't your fault. You didn't tell him because you meant to betray me. You only confided in him because you trust him. I was sent out of the palace because of this. But I didn't grudge against anyone. I blame myself. Everything in life that happens is for a reason. Perhaps God meant us to meet this way. Dead man and come on freely. You might be of great help to me. I'll do anything. If not to please you, but at least to satisfy my conscience. I. I need to see Uri. A lot has happened since I left. How did you get to know that you were wanted? 
father's brother informed me. I lost my father in the process. I'm too sorry. I'm sorry to hear this. It's alright. I need to clear my name. I can bury the man who took care of me from childhood. I can get Princess Wuri through the domestic helps in the palace. But again, you have to promise me that you will be careful. I have a feeling that the palace has something to do with Madhu's death. why the police cannot do their job. But concluded I... I killed my own friend. Why are they looking for you? You're not a treff. And that baffles me the most. Any of you that make babies in this palace, your kids will go to the motherless babies. Did you hear me? And I'm talking of bed in your head. Look at them. All these things are going on in this palace. Who's there? Your Majesty. This was going on. You never told me. How dare you, Mother? We are leaving for the office. Who we'll go? Yes, Mother. Where are you going? To the office. Where I happen to be a director. I told you that we are going to Boduku Kingdom to honor Joaquin's uh, mother's invitation. I changed my mind. It's more important to me to protect my investment. Your investment? But well, people are paid to take care of that in the office. Those people will not protect my investments like I will. This will be a disrespect if we don't honor her invitation. Disrespect? Oh. Did she consider it as disrespect when her son read my maiden and sold oh, my sister? You dare not talk to me in that manner. When did you begin to be rude to me? Well, since you chose this honor in place of ambition. Ugo, stop. Do not disrespect mother in front of the domestic staff. I will not tolerate that. Here I am. I'm sorry, mother. I said it without thinking. Then can we please go? You have succeeded in turning her against me. You can go. Oh, thank you, mother. Oh, can my maiden come with me? A maiden that betrayed you? She did not betray me. She was afraid to fight for her rights because of what you would do to her. Come on, darling. There you go. You heard what I said. Look at how their ears are all open, waiting for something to talk about. Gossip! Ufere, take care of them! Your Majesty. Now. This is a note of warning to all staff of this palace. I will not tolerate any form of amorous dealings amongst you. Anyone caught shall be incarcerated. Do I make myself clear? So, the name still remains honorable to <laughs> What troubles you, my queen? I am not troubled. Nothing. Nothing? Then why are you pacing like a dog on heat? Yes, I'm on heat. I'm on heat because of your treachery and betrayal. I'm on heat because you're trying to turn my children against me. You want them to be like you. Weak and foolish. Oh, Elizabeth. What a shame. It is a shame if you still consider me as weak after you have pushed me to bush her innocent people, Elizabeth. I am as evil as you are, can't you see? Now if my children have chosen to be different from me, then I'll give thanks to God because at least their souls can be saved. But Elizabeth, as for you and I, we are doomed and condemned. 
<laughs> Only you, not me. My dear friend Uka, how are you? Are you promising me in the palace? If nobody does, I will. I know. So how is everything going in the palace? It's the same way you left it. Perhaps even worse. And the queen? That witch. She's still off to her usual antics and mischiefs. What about Princess Ure? Is she home? No, she went to the office with Paula and Princess Ugo. Princess Ugo? Isn't that amazing? We all left speechless. The queen nearly had a heart attack. Sure things are happening. I guess he had to take me leaving the palace to pave way for a chance. Ah, you're not being fair. You haven't asked me of Aki. I was going to. <laughs> you still love him, don't you? No. My heart is strong now. Anyway, Oka, I have to leave now. I just came to say hello to you. I appreciate it. Huh? Try and come and see us next time you have a chance to. I will. Huh? Tell everybody I miss them. I will do. Take care. Why is it so difficult for you to get that commoner? The first time you had the chance to handle him, you messed it up by killing the wrong person. Are you listening to me, you fool? Look for that boy. Search for him. I want him dead. That boy might even be in the Woduku kingdom. Get that boy and get his job done. Don't. Tell me stories. Did you hear me? Who is there? Who is there? Are you alright? Your Majesty. You dare not stand there when I speak with my daughters. You get lost from my sight. Out! What did she do now? This is my house. My palace. When you marry that Prince Charming you're waiting for, you give others in your own house, not here. Wrong! This palace belongs to our parents. And we will live freely in it, just like you live freely in your parents' house. We are not your slaves and you cannot choke us. No. Ugo, enough. No, allow her. She has the mouth to disrespect me after everything I did to make her a better person. A better person, you said? By showing your silly negative ideas down my throat. Enough, Ugo. Who speak to her? Oh, please, I'm done with this. Excuse me. Ah. Nothing is happening to you. Maybe you're the one that needs to look into yourself and don't preach to me. Don't you dare preach to me. Because you and your father want to ruin everything I worked so hard to build. But that will not happen. Because I am the creator. I make things happen. And very soon, my dear, you're going to find out who this woman you call mother really is. <laughs> you know what, mother? Obviously, you are in a very bad mood and I do not want to take the hit. And um, are you satisfied with the rodents of the Royal uh, Palace so far? Yes, Your Majesty. Good. I am. Your Majesty, I'm going out. 
this time? Yes, Father. I have an important appointment that I want to catch up with. Hmm. Well, you hardly go out, so if you must, why stop you? But um, you must go with the security man. <laughs> Father, you know I object to that. I'm just like any other person on the street. Why do I need to carry security to announce my presence? Because you're my daughter. That's why. You're my daughter, and I have enemies everywhere. Enemies that will stop at nothing to get back at me. Well, Father, maybe you have enemies. I don't. <laughs> this is my town. If my people do not accept me simply because I am my father's daughter, I will force them to because I'm not ready to go anywhere else. That does make sense. Well, okay, um, <clears throat> if you must, then you, you may leave. However, you promise me to be careful. Yes, Father, I will be. Good. Oh, have you seek your mother's consent? <sighs> Father, please. I'm an adult. I don't have to seek mother's consent every time I want to go out. Hmm. Oh, well. Okay, uh, you may leave, but please be careful. I will be, Father. Good. Thank you. Yes, Your Majesty. Is it not rather strange that my daughter will want to go out at this time and refuse to go with security men? It is strange indeed, Your Majesty. Hmm. Quite strange. Why do you think it is so? Um, Your Majesty, perhaps a business trip she doesn't want you to know about, Your Majesty. Business trip. You can't be that stupid. You can't see the countenance on my daughter's face. That when a woman behaves like that, she is going out to meet with a man. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Um, I've not been fortunate enough to have a, a woman who's willing to take any risk for me, Your Majesty. Lord help you, if you will. Mm. How? That would not happen. When well, you fail the simple assignments given to you, how would you not fail? Dealing with a woman who would do anything to occupy your heart. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I will improve. Well, now you have another opportunity to prove yourself. Go after her. Undiscovered. Yes, Your Majesty. And report back to me. Hmm? Your Majesty. So if you like to go out there and front it as usual, but here's your chance to do it right. You're hungry for fortune And you're looking for power Right from the start There is wickedness in your heart Your spirit is a tiger And your heart is wild like a wolf But it's true In everything you do Surely comes back to you What you reap is what you sow No matter what you do or where you go If you love to destroy destruction We'll be knocking at your door What you reap is what you sow No matter what you do or where you go If you love to destroy destruction I don't need your call. She has gone out. Which is very unusual. Are you listening to me? Follow her. Find out where she's going. Find out if she's going to see the subject. I don't need to tell you what you do, do I? Eliminate at sight. On point!
Christ's sakes, not now. Her Majesty the Queen, uh, we're about to go for the mission right now. I don't know, is there further instructions you'd like us to carry out? Get your flat ass out of here and get me sleep. So get out! Get what? Just give me one good reason why I I, I could I, I would punch your face. Ah! Ah! But you are the leader now. You said I should follow your leader. Ah! You are a dumb fellow! Get into the car! Ah! I thought I'd never see you again. I'm alive, that was the most important thing. They were still walking through that way, but the description does not fit the princess. What do you mean? Sir, they said one of them was dressed like a commoner. Came down from a car and walked into that hotel. Now, if you weren't very foolish, you would have realized that Princess Uri is capable of anything. Now, let's go. I saw the king's assistant on a roof for a, at the reception and a guard. I think he followed the princess down here. What? Oh, what oh. oh my god, you know what? Let's just leave here right now. I don't trust anyone. Let's just go. Everybody go. Go.
those hands then? Oh, why didn't I think of it before? Thank you very much. Um, I'm looking for my sister, Princess Ure. <laughs> my princess. Oh, you're your princess being a dog like this. I'm even surprised seeing you here. Well, did anybody come here from the palace? Perhaps to look for someone? Yes, yes, the, the palace got her here. And the man they came to see her to be my princess. And where are they? Let me take you to the room, my princess. Oh, thank you. Since they're not in their room and you said they came this way, where else would they be? Uh, my princess, I suggest to wait at the reception. Maybe you want to see another guest. They will soon be out. Uh, that's alright, thank you. You can go back to your duty post. Thank you, my princess. Actually, we were sent from the palace to protect the princess, and we saw her coming in the zoo. That's nice, but um, the princess went through this way. Oh, thank you very much. A moving target. Fuck. Man, we are so doomed if we don't leave here right now. Back to this house? Thing is my dear. How dare you? Do you know if she's in contact with your father's enemies? My father does not have enemies. Except of course, the one you created. Now I can see that you're even worse than your father. Well, perhaps because he is my father and his blood flows in my veins. Your sister has influenced you with her sharp tongue. <laughs> well, she's my sister and she probably got a sharp tongue from some. But you get this thing off my sight. Watch it, young lady. You're treading on dangerous ground. Of my sight. Surely comes back to you. What 
They seem to be hired hands. Apparently, they were not after Ugo. And who are they after? Your Majesty, I. It, it seems they were after Ikem. I want those bastards behind this crotch! Tonight! Not tomorrow. Yes, Your Majesty. And as for Ikem, you bring it to me! I want to know who he is, and I want to know why he wants to destroy my home. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. She died because of me. Because of me! Oh, God! She died because of us. 
something brought her to that place. I know my sister very well. I know her, okay? I know that she came to that place either to warn me of something or to stop me from doing something. She wanted so badly to meet with you and to apologize for what she had done to you. And now she's just... My sister is dead. Okay. It's okay. It's a great loss. She never truly knew me. She truly never knew me. I forced the king's assistant traced it to that place. Then your sister. Who then are the other men? And where did it come from? <laughs> no, man. Start talking. You have two options. I'm both late to death. Talk! We didn't mean to kill her, but the guard with her attacked us first, too. Who was your target? And why? I don't know who we're after. That takes the contract, and I escort him. <laughs> Whoever he asks me to kill, I do so. All right. I can see you're not willing to cooperate with us. I didn't ask you who sent you. Because we already know that person. And that same person tipped us off on how to get you. And gave instructions never to let you leave. We are only messengers. The Queen cannot... Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Queen cannot do what? All right, enough of this rubbish. Listen, it was the same queen who ordered your death. Look, we are all on the same page. Um, I could let you run away to another kingdom. You know, the royal house uses us to do their dirty jobs, okay? You're a noble man, yes. You both work for the queen. We missed him the first time and killed his friend. But you know what? I hate people like you. When I kill for the kingdom, I am justified. But when I kill for money, I remain guilty for the rest of my life. you shedding crocodile tears, Elizabeth? You murdered your own daughter. How can you say things like that? Well, the foolish thug you sent to murder you came ended up killing your daughter, you see? And it was a mistake. Obviously it was a mistake, because in your foolish wisdom, you failed to see that God is angry against us for what we have committed. 
your foolishness, Avery. If you had listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. Elizabeth, how could I have listened to you? How? When the boy has told me nothing wrong. Elizabeth, why? Isn't it obvious, Henry? Isn't it obvious that this boy is out to challenge your authority? This boy is dangerous and should be eliminated because you don't even know who sent him. You don't. You know, the very first day I lay my eyes on that boy, I knew there was something different about him. He only confirmed that by summoning the courage to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. I knew he was not just another commoner. And you didn't feel threatened? You didn't even try to find out who sent him? By trying to kill that boy was doing what you couldn't do. And you lost a child in the process, Elizabeth. We lost a daughter in the process. Our child in the process, Elizabeth! You know what? Because you are living in fear. Fear for the atrocities not committed against humanity, Elizabeth. Henry, it was because of you. It has always been about you. Do you know why? Because I want the best for you. No, Elizabeth, no. It has never been about anyone else but you. Henry. Yes. Oh, God. Elizabeth, stop crying. It won't help now. Crocodile's tears is wasted now, Elizabeth. Seek forgiveness. And as for me, I leave my fate in the hands of God. In the hands of God. What you reap is what you sow. You do where you go. If you love to destroy destruction, you'll be knocking at your door. What you reap is what you sow. No matter what you do where you go. If you love to destroy destruction, you'll be knocking at your door. You can't cry all night. You bought in yourself. You don't, you don't understand. You don't understand. You fought a lot. My mother instigated a lot between us. Just when we became sisters again. Just when we became best of friends. Death came. Death took my only sister away from me. I feel so So devastated. Believe me, it was meant to happen this way for a reason. No one wishes death, but death, though painful, will, will come to us. Not now. Not like this. No. Uka was, was just a child. A child who had so much dreams. My sister was going to conquer the world. you feel I am not a stranger to such pains I lost my father you didn't
did not tell me. He died the day I received the news about Madhu's death. And then I was, I was declared wanted. I deposited his corpse and the mortuary and fled. I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. I, I never knew. That is something we must all learn to bear. Not too heavy for us to carry. We must, we must quickly move on. Because that is what those we love and lost wish for us. You know, you have nothing, but you have so much, you have so much courage. The same way there's a will, there's a way. I guess what propels me is the beauty of life itself. We are people out of nothing. Work themselves so hard on becoming noble men in this society. Yet those who are privileged end up having nothing. Life is a mystery to many. But for those who have knowledge of existence, Joy to behold, pain to bear, because life must continue to go on, regardless of what you and I feel. seen as my father. It's not my biological father. We are not even remotely related. I want you to tell me everything. I mean, I want to know everything about who you are. Just tell me everything, please.
let me. To my eyes. What do you see? I see. I see the face of a man that I am ready to die for. You see a man that is ready to do anything to make you happy. But you must stop crying. He is not enough to prepare you for the task ahead. <laughs> you are your parents' only child now. <laughs> a daughter and a son. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have proven to be a great source of strength. I don't know what I would have done if if you were not here. I don't know how I, I would have gone through the night. You would have. You have more courage than, than that you had made me. You have more will than nations put together. Be strong. Because the world don't have a space for weak minds. Okay. Okay. Strong. Thank you. I have to go now. I'm sure Father is waiting for me. You have to go to the hospital to see my sister's remains. She would, she would come with me. alive the way it is. An empty void that we must fight to fill. I wish to know my parents. I wish to know that mother who died for her son to live. I wish to know that brave maiden who died making sure that my mother's wish was carried out. You've said it all. I will be strong. I will be strong in my heart. I will be strong in my soul. Jiri will take care of you. Okay, um, nobody comes to my chambers, so keep safe. Okay. Ah, I need to get dressed. Everything you 
Yes, sir. Was there ever a time when a king and his pregnant wife were being murdered or sent out of the kingdom? Oh, where did you hear such a story? A friend of mine. But, but did it ever happen? Oh, well, in what kingdom did that happen? Uh, I don't know, but uh, the friend of mine happens to be the king's son. The mother had him in the forest while trying to flee the kingdom. Unfortunately, she died and the maiden saved the infant's child. Uh, Father, did I, did I say something wrong? Uh, who is this your friend? And where does he live? You do not know all my friends. But the question is, did it ever happen? Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Don't this car back now and go back to the palace. Ye yes, Your Majesty. Right now! Yes, Your Majesty. Father, what is wrong? Harry. I want you. I want you. Did I not? The end is near. Turn this car back now! Henry! Father, are you okay? Turn the car back now! Yes, Your Majesty. behaving like a child. Someone, maybe one of your detractors, told her the story. She knows nothing. No, Elizabeth. It's a game. It's a game. No wonder I felt that way the very first day I played my Yes. I can see the resemblance now. I see it now. It's the boy. Are you drunk? Or you are confused over your daughter's death? The child never lived. The guards told us that the pregnant queen and the maidens were killed in the bush. No, Elizabeth, the child lives. The child lives and is him. I am sure the boy has come to her. Even if the child lives and is him, don't you think he doesn't know who he is? Because if he knows, your enemies would have plotted on how to unseat you by now. Oh, oh, oh. It is the boy. The son of Thomas, the blood that I shed. Oh, the innocent blood. Shut up and sit down. Shut up. Father. What's going on? Oh, there is nothing. I, I am just trying to confirm some things from your mother. Why not tell her the truth? Why not tell her that you are afraid to face the things you did in the past? The king that cannot face reality. Careful. Careful what you say. Only cowards that are afraid to confront that which will eventually consume them. If what we discussed is true, I will personally hunt him down. I will squeeze a life out of him because no child of Florence will sit on this throne as long as I live. Never. It will not happen. Mother, what's going on? Mother! Mother, mother, talk to me. What's going on? The end is here. Mother, mother, what's going on? What were you and Dad talking about? So you've chosen to be my daughter. I gave you an opportunity to be my daughter, but you chose to be your father's. Why not go in there and ask him what is troubling him?
Am I really your daughter? Why would you ask such a question? I doubt it. Of course, you are my daughter. No doubt that you are my father. I doubt it. Seeing your sister's corpse, you're traumatized. I did not see her. It's okay. You know, something is wrong. Something is going on somewhere. There's something going on, and my parents don't want to discuss it. What was the name of your mother? Florence. Why do you ask? Wait, wait, wait. You're not, you're not sure, right? Well, are you sure? So I was told. Wait, why do you ask? This, this cannot be true. No, it cannot be true. It can't be true. No, don't, I'll, I'll, I'll just come back. Where did you hear my mother's name? What do you know about my mother? What do you mean? Go of me. I'm sorry. If, if you heard my mother's name somewhere, or you heard something about my mother, and you don't want to tell me, then you're not my friend. I consider those who who walk against me as enemies. So what are you? I mean, what are you? Has your curiosity led you to the truth about your father? And this is true. Are you listening to me? You are my daughter. But I will not hesitate to silence you if your stupidity leads to destroying everything I've worked so hard all these years. Oh my God! Mother! If you love your father so much and you still want to enjoy the privilege of being a princess without being lynched by your people, you will tell us where he came is hiding because your father's enemies are using him against us to destroy us. But oh, mother, you are already destroyed. What? If you and father are behind this. Enough of this. You have said enough already. Now, I am your father and I will tell you everything you need to know because I'm the man behind this hideous crime as you call it. Oh, now, come with me. No, oh, you... Yeah. This is true. Oh my God. Father. Oh my God. Father, tell me. This is not true. Come with me. Super. That's your mother. I'm never lying to you. Because you are as foolish as your master. But I'm going to entrust the life of your master in your hands. Your master is about to make a terrible mistake that we might pay with our blood. You know what that means, don't you? So are you going to stand there and watch him make such a mistake? 
know your majesty. I love life and I have a family too. I don't care about your family. All I care is maintaining the legacy I've come to enjoy. Which is power. Now, I'll tell you what to do. Come closer. Father, if truly I am your daughter, tell me the truth. Who is Florence? And Father, did you kill her? What, what are you talking about? Father, don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Did you and mother conspire to kill Ikem's parent? They do say Ikem. Did you say Oh my God. It is true. It is true. Ikem did not lie to me. He's a prince. And you and mother conspired to kill his parents. Ure, Ure, please. Please, you know I love as my daughter. But mind what you say, please. Because you do not know what evil you are about to unleash. Please. Father, please. Brother, please. Tell me. Tell me these things are not true. Father, I beg of you, just, just tell me that they are all lies. And that you don't kill anybody. Father, please tell me it is not true. Father, please. I have no time and you have no choice. He came has come to kill the king the queen and your princess. So I am relying on you to tell me where Ikem is. It is a royal duty you owe the royal household and not a betrayal like your mind might be telling you right now. I, I, I have no idea where he is. It is very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate that you have chosen to betray those who housed you, close to you and fed you. Now listen. Princess Ure is with the king and she's crying because she has been told the truth. Her mind is so clouded in grief and she has personally asked me to ask you to cooperate with us. I mean, you could consult with her if you like. That is if you doubt me. No, no, I'm not doubting you. I'm not doubting you. You do? Then let's go meet her with the king. She said um, she could not personally tell us, but we could consult with Njide. Perhaps I should consult with Njide, and of course that will give Njide an opportunity to get into the Queen's good books. And you know, trust me, that will be very, very pathetic for you. He's here. He's here. To beg his forgiveness. Please. Please. Oh my God. Please, my daughter, please. 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 Oh God. I have to beg his forgiveness now. Please. I know, I know you're embarrassed and disappointed by your father. Oh, 
forgive me for the intrusion, Your Majesty. Princess Uri aroused my curiosity when she asked me of my mother's name. Young man, I need to speak with you. I, I need to beg your forgiveness. See, what happened to your parents was an unfortunate incident. They were, please forgive me. Please, I beg your forgiveness again. Forgive me. Please. What? Elizabeth. Harry, you shouldn't negotiate with an enemy who is here to destroy us. To do what you should have done if you weren't as stupid as your father. You are the gun, please. He came and suffered as it is. We need to beg his forgiveness, please. I don't see God anywhere here. So if he dies, peace returns to this family. Mother, no, don't do this. Don't. Wilfred, your majesty. Don't do this. Disarm the queen immediately. I order you. Wilfred, no what he stands to gain by being by my side. Don't come near me. She's your cousin. <laughs> take, take, take care of her. Shut 